time to get fit with Fox 21 News. And if you're like many Americans, you'd like to lose a couple of pounds, but you could be doing the wrong type of exercise. This is really interesting. And joining us now to explain is Dr. Isla Skolnikoff, author of The Skolnikoff Method, New Medicine for a New You. Good morning. So there are types of exercises that actually prevent you from losing weight. What are they? Those are the aerobic exercise. Most people are exercising anaerobically. Mm -hmm. They're exercising to get fatter instead of to burn fat. They should be exercising aerobically. So that the anaerobic exercise is hard on your body. It can hurt your heart. When you exercise aerobically, you burn fat and you lose weight. Okay. So give so me an example of both the kinds spinning, of exercise. Spinning classes are an example of an anaerobic exercise that will not help you to lose weight, even if you do it every day for an hour. Wow. Normal kickboxing, hockey, soccer, or tennis. If Seriously. So a lot of the exercises that you think you need to be doing are actually not helping you get to your goals. Exactly. So what kind of exercises should you be doing? What will help you lose weight? If you want to lose weight, you should be doing primarily aerobic exercises. Fat burning exercise like yoga, Pilates, walking, hiking on flat surfaces. See, when you do the aerobic exercise, it gets into the fat cells of your body and helps you to burn that fat that you're wanting to get rid of, giving you two and a half times more energy. Whereas when you do the anaerobic exercise, it can damage your heart and hormone system. So, is there an easier way to tell, okay, I'm doing anaerobic versus aerobic, or do you just have to know which one it is? Or is there a range that you're trying to get into? Well, I'd like to review with you what I believe to be the optimal prescription for weight loss as well as six tech gadgets for weight loss. The okay. first one is this heart rate monitor, uh -huh. which allows you to exercise at your target heart rate aerobically. That's fat burning exercise. It's an easy calculation to set it to your target heart rate and they have great customer service. Okay. The second tech gadget is called the Rise Sleep app. I'll use it to see if I got the good sleep or less than optimal sleep throughout the night because you have to have excellent sleep to lose weight. If you have terrible sleep, it can cause you to gain weight. Good sleep, you lose weight. That's the morning show here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. The third tech gadget is the Rise Sleep. Oh, I just went over that. But the next one is called the Glycemic Index app, and that'll help you to know how many sugars are in the foods that you're eating. Sugar causes you to gain weight. So the fourth tech gadget is a digital food scale for your kitchen. That way you can measure the exact weight of your food in ounces mm -hmm. or in grams, as well as then calculate the calories from there. Okay. And the next tech gadget is what's called the digital body weight scale. Mm -hmm. It'll help you to know your own weight in pounds or kilos, and then you can calculate your body mass index. And the, yeah, the, the next tech gadget is your, 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 uh, your steps app, so mm -hmm. it's free, and you yeah. can measure your how much you're walking every day. I have a friend who lost 40 pounds just by measuring how much he was walking every day. He walked for an hour, and that made all the difference. Really? Yeah, I mean, almost anyone can walk, and it's easy on your body, and actually helps you to lose weight. <laughs> all right, uh, great, great tips, great ideas. So, uh, wh why is it important to get the fat best down? Why is that such an important target? And other than you just want to look better and feel better. Well, fat, if you have fat, you have an extra mile of veins and arteries that go through every pound of fat that you have. And so your heart's having to pump against that extra fat, and it's just not healthy. It can reduce your lifespan. All right. So yeah. if someone was going to start exercising tomorrow, hasn't exercised before, what would you recommend they start with? I'd recommend that they go for walks because it's easy on your body. Pretty much anyone can do it, and it actually helps you to lose weight. My friend lost 40 pounds. It did take a little bit of while. A, a little while, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, a Steps app is free. Right. I mean, what it the heck? You don't even have to download it. It's already on your phone for most yeah. people. Uh, great. Okay. Also, so go ahead. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, at the bottom of our website at skolnikoff.com, there's a free weight loss questionnaire so people can find out if exercise and diet are preventing them from losing weight or not. Okay, so, so much to take into consideration and, yeah. and all this stuff to figure out. So you want to make sure you're doing it right. So one more time, where can people go to get more information? What's your website? They just go to skolnikoff.com and at the bottom of the website, there's the free weight loss questionnaire that'll help them to find out what's going on. Oh. And uh, that should be really helpful, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for a walk sure. after this. Thank you so much for, for sure. being here. Your time right now is 826 and we'll be right back after this short break.